I spoke about the Warriors' inability to bring in a, a point guard option to, to either work out for them this offseason or you know to sign a deal in training camp and see if they can earn a roster spot. And being extremely concerned with the Warriors' lack of point guard depth beyond Steph and Pods. And a bit perplexed as to why they're not looking at another option. Again, why they haven't brought in anyone to work out at the very least. I think I've worked it out. And I didn't work it out on my own. And I've briefly mentioned this previously. But I was listening to a recent episode of the Hoop Collective or the latest episode of the Hoop Collective. And uh, the guys on there were talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves and their kind of lack of playmaking to a degree. And Brian Windhorst mentioned how when Mike Conley was banged up a bit in the playoffs and missed a couple of uh, games in the in the postseason, that Kyle Anderson was basically running point for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And so I did some like research on this, like going back, looking at a few quotes and stuff like that. I think I've come to the real- realization that Kyle Anderson might be the Warriors' backup point guard next season, like legitimately. Kyle Anderson, I think, will be the Warriors' backup point guard. And there'll be like sprinkles of pods in there. Like they'll probably both share the floor together. But I've always just thought that, oh, pods is replacing Chris Paul. Like pods is just going to be the backup point guard. Not only is he going to replace Clay as a starting two guard, but he's going to replace CP3 as well. And I've always wondered, like I'm high on pods, no doubt. His value has kind of soared this off season. But I've always thought that's just like a huge burden <laughs> to put on this second year, 21 year old kid. Like, that's a huge burden to say you're essentially replacing two Hall of Fame players in one here. And so, again, I found that perplexing and all, and just wondered, like, what's going on here? And now I think I've just come to the realization Kyle Anderson is going to be the backup point guard. And so a couple of quotes here. I think these, this was in December um, after a game where Kyle Anderson had nine assists, I believe. And he was asked after the game, and he said, I think that's where I'm most comfortable making decisions getting guys the ball, getting guys involved. That's just my natural position. So he's saying he's like he's a natural point guard, and that's his natural position. Uh, and then Chris Finch, Timberwolves coach, also said, I think after the same game, said, ever since I've seen Kyle Anderson play, I just know he's just really good with the ball in his hands. No matter whether you play him at the four, the three, the one, he has a great understanding of our set plays, kind of when to sprinkle those in too. I think he's going to be the backup point guard. I've decided. And so that really, really interests me, like what kind of uh, combination Steve's going to go with next season, if that's the case. So I suppose it's the same kind of uh, lineups, but more so slow mo is going to be the point forward. And he like, he's going to have the ball in his hands. He's going to be bringing the ball up the court plenty. And you know what? The more I think about it, the more I think that may have been a really big selling point for the Warriors to Kyle Anderson in free agency. Now, we've always said, oh, perfect kind of fit for the Warriors in terms of his ability, like his versatility defensively, obviously, and offensively as, you know, this playmaking forward. But I've never until this point thought, oh, yeah, he's going to be playing point guard for the Warriors next season. And now, again, I kind of got onto this from, from what the guys on the Hoop Collective said. I think he's going to be. I think Kyle Anderson is going to be the backup point guard for the Warriors next season. I'm super fascinated to see it. So maybe you might have a bench unit where Pods is still in there a bit. Maybe like maybe maybe Kyle Anderson and having like D'Anthony Melton on the floor and Melton can handle the ball a bit. Maybe having those two guys, maybe it's enough. 